Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. Cadence has just released a new Google Maps block. This comes on the heels of the recent release of the Lottie animation block and the Countup block a month ago. Suffice to say that Cadence is on a roll. In this walkthrough, I'll take a first look at what the Cadence Google Maps block offers. The Cadence Google Maps block is available in the free version of Cadence Blocks, which you download from the WordPress plugin directory. The block was just released. There was no fanfare, and there's not even any help documentation yet, though after taking a look at it, I don't think you really need any. Cadence Blocks has more than 200,000 active installs, 107 five-star reviews, and we can see that the team is active in answering support questions. On my test site, I have the free version of Cadence Blocks activated, and I've just updated it. The pro version is not activated right at this moment. And I'm running the pro version of the Cadence theme. Let's try out the block by creating a new page. I'll put a little message here. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the design library and I'll just pick this contact us form here. There's kind of a lot of space here. Notice how you can just hold the mouse down and drag to adjust that, which is convenient. Okay, now let's add the new block. And you can see that there are 19 blocks available in the free version. So it's going to be pretty rounded out, robust. Here's the Google Maps block. And when you add it, it's got a location here for the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. And these are the settings over here. You have a location where you can enter an address. You can set the zoom level for starting. You have the option of a road map or a satellite map. You can apply a display filter. if you want to have kind of an artistic effect. You can set the container size, and these settings you can adjust by desktop, tablet, and mobile. So that gives you a lot of control there. One of the things I was curious about is if you could use a latitude and longitude coordinates for the location. So I searched for Des Moines, Iowa and found the Latin long for that, and I'm just going to copy this here, and we'll paste it into the location field. And look, it changed from the Golden Gate Bridge to Des Moines. Okay, so you can use your latitude and longitude coordinates, so that's kind of cool. And then the last settings here are the API settings. And this is an interesting thing about the Cadence Google Map block is that it has a key embedded in it already, which means that if you're happy with just using the straightforward options that come with the block, you don't need to get your own custom key. And that's nice because then you don't have to enter a credit card and sign up and all that. You know, you are a little bit limited. You know, you can't do things like have multiple map pins and things like that, which you could do if you used a more advanced Google Maps option. However, this straightforward kind of simple approach is going to be good for many people. If you do get a custom key, then you would enter it here. The last thing I was curious about with the map block is I was wondering if we have the pro version of Cadence blocks activated, well, we have an option to use dynamic data to pull the location address from the database. So I'm just going to publish this. And let's go activate the pro version. Go back to our page. And unfortunately, there's no option to use dynamic data. So I was kind of hoping for that feature, but this is the first version. Hopefully they'll add that. 
Okay, so let's take a look at this now on the front of the site. And here's the map. You can use the zoom. If you click here for directions or for a larger map, then it opens in another window. And you can switch to the satellite view if you want that. All right, in summary, it's good to see that the Cadence team is actively developing the Blocks plugin. Including these new blocks in the free version will please a lot of users. Some plugins that provide a Google Map option require that you have your own API key. So shipping the block with a key embedded already makes life much simpler for the end user, though you do trade some advanced options for this convenience. The Google Maps block looks like a solid addition to the Cadence Blocks plugin. I do hope that they enable the option for using dynamic data for the map location in a future version. Cadence Blocks doesn't have as many active installs as some of its rivals, but Cadence is a great choice for site builders, and with releases like this, the Cadence team is turning its users into raving fans. So that's my first look at the new Cadence Google Maps block. There's a text version of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. Hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching.